everybody hope you are all well so i have quite a bad nail biter well not so much nail biter it's just a skin biter um so i took really good care of when i was prepping her nails because the skin around the cuticle area can become very um fragile and sore so um just when you're obviously removing the dead skin off the nails and so on just to take a little bit extra care because obviously yeah they've they've, they've damaged their skin a little bit so anyways i'm going in with some of cjp's beautiful colors and this one is called perfect peach and it's one of their new ones and i have to admit that i'm not the world's best at working with this color um, I can work with all of CJP's colours, but this one I've struggled with. I find it brilliant for working for, with ombre because I personally think it works better when it's wetter. Um, I have watched Liz do it in a one ball method and she makes it look so flipping easy. Um, but I am obviously just not skilled enough to do it like that. Um, so that's why i have personally worked with it done it in the three ball method um and just worked with it um wetter because i just i just couldn't get it to move around the nail and then it became like lumpy and i don't know if it was down to the weather because we had had a lot of, these were obviously recorded um two weeks ago so we did have a lot of hot weather in the uk um but anyways um they still came out absolutely beautiful but um I mean, it doesn't really matter which way that you personally put it on the nail, whether you do it in a one ball meth method, a five ball method or whatever, as long as you get it on. But yeah, I did struggle with this one, but I have ordered the other one, which is Peach Sobe. Um, So I'm going to see if I can work with that one a bit differently. But the colour, oh, I can't fault it at all. The colour is stunning. Um, it is one of their nicest nudes. I th thought that birthday suit was one of the nicest nudes, but this one so far is just gorgeous. Everybody wanted it, and I was like, oh, I can't work with it very well, but we got there. So anyways, this is quite just a very easy, elegant set of nails. Um, so... On the, I'm working with this one is from um, this glitter is from Chameleon Glitters, so I will leave a link in the description box. And this one is called Chameleon, um, and it's just a beautiful white iridescent. Now she does lots of like white glitters, and um, that have different like flecks in it. So this one has more of a baby pink flecks in it, um, but you can get ones with gold, blue, um, you know, like whatever. But I really like this one. So we're just going for like a subtle ombre. Um, so just picking up a bead of clear acrylic and um, dipping it into the raw glitter. And then, as I say, just going a third up the nail and then I'm going to go in with um, CJP's glitter, which is called... Um, Oh, what is it? Pink diamonds? As a princess. I think it's princess. Um, and it's just a tiny little bit more chunkier and a bit more baby pink. But oh my God, the reflex of it. You can see there it's very blue and violet. Absolutely gorgeous. So um, this one is obviously pre-mixed with acrylic as well, which is all very handy. But obviously you will need to go in and cap all of these nails in clear acrylic. Um, the tips that I'm using is from CJP. They're their new um, tips and I absolutely love them. Um, and the brush that I'm using is from Alpha Brushes and it is the size 8 oval. Um, that is the one that I prefer. So once everything had dried, then I go in and do all my usual filing and um, buffing and removing all of the dust off the nails. Then I'm going to go in with my Blue Sky Non Tacky Gel Top Coat, which is my favourite. Um, and just, yeah, trying not to get any on the skin. Um, but, oh, just look at the colours. It's They're just so gorgeous. This girl was lucky enough to be going off to Cuba. Um, so, yeah, they're lovely. But um, 
when I took some photos at the end you'll see the photos it just really shone up a like red bit so please bear in mind that I haven't obviously damaged her nails which you can see here it's just unfortunate she is a skin biter and it is a nasty habit to have so I've cured these in my LED lamp for 30 seconds and I'm going in with some Neos cuticle oil which is their peach one and just putting some love back into them cuticles um, and that's it guys so I really hope Hope that you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and i will see you in my next video bye